the next one is graph isomorphism isomorphism the same graph is represent in more than one form is called as isomorphism okay so i am representing the say one graph in another format see for example consider this graph observe this graph here red color and yellow color and blue and uh, purple so the same graph i can represent in this way also okay so the same graph in a different form see uh, but the connection is same the red is connected with yellow and yellow is connected with purple and this edge is represented like this okay in this format this edge is they make it as this okay different form different form that is called as isomorphism the same graph is represented in more than one form is called as graph isomorphism for example you see here the same thing red and purple so red and purple this edge is also drawn like this so you will get like this okay it's not if you draw like this on whatever in whatever way you draw the connection is same right see in this graph uh, this red is connected with this purple okay so the same is connected with here also this and the same way it is also connected in this way so here blue and here they represented yellow so this is also an isomorphism so these all four graphs are called isomorphism the same graph is represented in more than one form is called as graph isomorphism okay so to identify this we have to check the necessary four condition must be satisfied to see whether these graphs are isomorphism number of vertices in both the graph must be same <coughs> see here also four vertices and here also you have four vertices first you have to check number of vertices in both the graph must be same so this graph is an isomorphism uh, of all these four graphs are called isomorphism okay and number of edges number of edges in both the graph must be same so here also 1 2 3 4 5 5 and here also 1 2 3 4 5 edges so five edges number of vertices should be same in both the graph and number of edge edges should be same and degree sequence of both the graph must be same and degree see the red color have how many degrees 3 degrees and here also 3 degree and here also you have 3 degree okay here also you have 3 degree so the degree of you have to check for all the vertices so degree sequence of both the graph must be same and the next condition is if a cycle of length k is formed by the vertices see if there is a cycle is formed in this vertex okay so first you have to check number of vertices and then you have to check number of edges okay and the next one is degree sequence degree sequence of both the graph must be same and the next one is if a cycle of length k is formed by the vertex in one graph then a cycle of same length k must be formed by the vertices for example uh, here you have one cycle red blue and this purple okay and in the same way you have to check whether that cycle is formed in another also see red red blue and purple so here also cycle is there red blue purple so cycle length is there and red blue purple so this okay so if a cycle length of k is formed the cycle length how many see cycle length is 1 2 3 so so th this three edges make a cycle here and here also you see 1 2 and 3 this is one edge so this is 3 and if you see here 1 2 3 so here 1 2 3 3 the cycle length of the vertices in one graph then a cycle of same length must be formed by the other graph also then only that graph is called as an isomorphism 
okay the necessary four condition is number of vertices should be same and number of edges should be same and degree sequence of both the graph must be same and cycle length cycle length which is formed from the one vertice <coughs> one graph then the cycle of same length k must be formed by the vertices of the other graph as well so this graph is called as an graph isomorphism and the next one is sufficient condition two graphs are isomorphic if and only if their complement graph also isomorphic so if you uh, find out the complement of the graph then that graph is also an isomorphic okay and two graphs are isomorphic if their adjacent matrix are same see adjacency matrix for yellow what is the adjacency matrix red and purple and here also red and purple okay for adjacency matrix of yellow is red and purple so the adjacency matrix are always same in the isomorphic graph okay see yellow is red and purple so two graphs are isomorphic if their adjacency matrix are same two graphs are isomorphic if their corresponding subgraph obtained by deleting some vertices of one graph and other corresponding images in other graph are isomorphic see if i delete a particular graph if i delete a particular uh, uh, yellow also this consider this subgraph okay if you take only this subgraph then also it will be an isomorphic see if if i delete this yellow what happens this red and blue and purple so if you delete here also red yellow uh, blue and purple the cycle is formed right so if you delete here also the cycle is formed so this is called as an graph isomorphism two graphs are isomorphic if and only if their complement graphs are isomorphic and the second point is it is uh, the adjacency matrix or same adjacency matrix is nothing but adjacency vertices adjacency vertices must be same and the complement graph is also an isomorphic if you delete a particular subgraph and also you are obtaining in the same uh, in other graph also then it is called as an isomorphism okay graph isomorphism is nothing but you are representing the graph in another form same graph is represented in another form is called as a graph isomorphism we have to check four condition one is number of vertices in both the graph must be same number of edges must be same and degree sequence of both must be same and cycle length which is formed by the vertices that should be same and the sufficient condition is a uh, complement graph is also isomorphic and adjacent matrices are same and if you find out any subgraph and that should be isomorphic okay so this is called graph isomorphism